Okay, if you have established your math blocks, one of the easiest ways to do assignments is to go ahead and go into your MySmart Planner. So go ahead and click where the gray arrow is. And then if you have the blocks that are showing, you just need to go ahead and double click into that block and then it brings it up for that particular day. And then underneath the details, this one happens to say Chapter 5, Lesson 6. If you click on the details of it, they have the standard that's being taught. You have the lesson resources. And then if you click on the core instruction, these are all the options that you have. If it does not have the assign button on it, you cannot assign it to a student, but you can put it in your schedule. But again, the way that this is set up, that all the resources are there for you. So here's a student edition that you may assign. The one that I think most of you like assigning is the interactive student edition that shows the little video with either a frog or a mouse or a fox on that. So um, you can go ahead now and at this spot go ahead and assign it by clicking on assign. And then this next window pops up and make sure that you have your pop-up pop blocker deselected to make sure that it is able to show this. Then go ahead and give it a title. I'm going to write this down as, oops, let me get the cap lock off. Lesson 5.6, type that in, instructions, I'm just going to put as complete, and you have randomized questions, select your class that you want, and then your group of students show up, and we're going to do all of them, gets assigned this lesson 5.6 to learn and then give it a date. Now if you want this available for the students for quite a long time, then go ahead and change your due date. Since this is just a sample, I'm going to change it to be from today to tomorrow only. And then I'm going to go ahead and select save. It's going to ask you to make sure you want to save it. And that, so then you can see the various lessons that have been um, sent to the students. So now if you were to ask the students to log in, they should see the interactive student edition um, saved to them. Okay, thank you for watching.